pleasing word of God, you may ask. What is this pleasing word of God? I want you to think about it. Stew on it. Think about it seriously, okay? I'm not playing around with you guys. I'll give you the answer. What is this pleasing word of God? It's the gospel. It's his word. It's his word. You think about something we've been studying lately and come follow me. I remember Revelation chapter 14 verse 6 talks about an angel flying out of heaven having the everlasting gospel. And I remember around the time that I read that for the first time, I thought, I'm willing to bet that that angel is Moroni. Now, I was not yet a member of the church. It was late August, early September of 2001. Late August, early September of 2001. I'm, 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 I'm reading Revelation chapter 14, verse 6. And I'm thinking to myself, well, okay. It's Locked on Demand TV. Now including. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. You know how uh, technology likes to get with us. But we'll get, we'll get down to it. But, you know, it has to be the pleasing word of God. That's the gospel. I can't. I can't stress it enough, okay? I don't know of any other answer on the face of this earth that can heal the wounded soul. I don't know anything on the face of this earth that can give us the peace that we need, that can give us a sense that we belong, that there is something larger than ourselves that really cares. There is nothing in comparison. Nothing. You think about this, okay? When you enter the covenant of baptism, you're grafted into Israel. I know my family circumstances there have been times I've gone to Heavenly Father complaining it's like you know never really felt like in some ways I fit in because I have a different last name and different heritage and Heavenly Father this morning he had to remind me he's like but Jimmy you crafted into Israel you crafted into Israel, you know that the gospel is true. What's wrong with you? You ought to receive the answer to that pain through, through baptism, right? Come on, Jimmy, wake up. I'm just trying to help you here. You know? Wake up, I'm just trying to help you here. You know what the answer is. What is this pleasing word of God that heals the wounded soul? You may ask, what is it? Maybe you're investigating the church for the first time yourself. You're reading the Book of Mormon and you see that and you're thinking to yourself, I'm wounded. 
I'm hurting. I need healing. I know because I've been there. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I am now. And there is nothing. There is nothing like the restoration of the gospel to bring you healing for a time like this, okay? There is nothing that is going to give you the peace and the hope to help you find completeness and happiness. There is nothing like this on the earth where everyone has a chance to be included. It's the kingdom of God on earth. Okay? It is it is the fullness of of the gospel. And I'm going to tell you something. It is my faith that has helped me go through some dark times. In January, February 2018, when I broke my leg, I depended heavily on my faith, reading the Book of Mormon, listening to words of apostles and prophets where I could, Listening on, you know, also to uh, T.D. Jakes. Anything I could get spiritual strength to make it through having a broken leg. That's what fortified me, okay? And then a year later, in 2019, friends bringing me passages of Scripture, whether it's in the Bible or in the, or in the Book of Mormon, strengthening me. Helping me. I'm telling you right now. People say that they think that they know what's going to heal our land. And, and, and even people of faith. Larry Dixon or any other people, you know, like maybe they're on the, the, the political spectrum. And they, they think they got something to say that's going to heal their land. But I listen to some of their stuff, and can I be honest with you? It's no better than the sub-zero reactive culture that we're dealing with right now. It's not going to heal our land. And, and why do I say that? Why do I say that? Because we as a country have forgotten our place. It says clearly in the Bible, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and, and pray and seek my face, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Do you know what the answer is? The answer is encapsulated in this one thing. John chapter 3 verses 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Now people say, well, you know, the news media, Hollywood, the entertainment media, they know what's going to heal our land. Really? Are we really that non-evolved that we can assume 
the externals alone are going to carry the day. I'm telling you right now what's going on with the, the loss of my uh, uh, paternal grandfather, on my um, grand, paternal grandmother on my daddy's side. I'm leaving proof right now that externals don't work. If you're relying on the news media or Washington, D.C. or Hollywood to give you the formula that you need to heal this land the way that you think that this land should be healed, you're bargaining for nothing but trouble. I mean it. Have you ever thought, has it ever occurred to you that as we wait for externals, there are people dying on the vine? Suppose you are a member of the church and you know somebody, they've turned you down maybe a couple times before, but at the same time that seed is still active in them. Maybe they come to you and they say, you know, I'm, I'm miserable and I'm tired of hurting. Can you help me? And that's what I did to my buddy Keith. And Keith said, Jimmy, let me show you the way. Start reading the Book of Mormon cover to cover and, and with real intent. And he said, then you'll find the way. I want you to forgive me for breaking down like I have. I don't, I don't normally do that uh, on the air. The feelings toward losing my uh, my grandmother are still pretty fresh. So once again, I ask for your forgiveness. <sighs> But I do think that our land is, needs healing. And if we're writing for externals like Washington or news media or, or Hollywood to do it, we're just saying for one great, great, one grave disappointment. Because the one thing that's going to heal this land is the restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because I'm, I'm here to testify to you as a convert that we live in a world full of hurting people. And what if they turn to you and say, I'm hurting. I need some answers. Are you going to turn them away? Or will you offer a tender testimony in order to help them learn and grow? What will you do? Don't become numb to the call of Christ. If you've been baptized, you take upon yourself his name. You take upon yourself his name. And you've heard the prophets from last general conference, if you remember the church. It's getting where you cannot have a foot in the church and a foot in the world. I'm seeing it more and more apparent every day. We have to humble ourselves. Repent of our sins. Seek God's face. And then, and only then, can God, our Heavenly Father, can even give us ever a hope to be forgiven and to have our land healed? We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> I am back. Now, what I did for the past, I don't know, almost half hour, 
it reminds me of the way that I was.